Now, in the last video, we developed this Boolean circuit. Oh, pardon me. We <laughs> developed this Boolean expression for this. This Boolean expression here. Uh, that didn't look too good. Let me. This Boolean expression here. Here. I get it. There we go. Be a little bit thicker. And visible this boolean expression for this truth table. I would now like to build this circuit. So, let's do that. One line at a time, and then we or them together. That sounds like a, a very good idea to me. Let's try that. So we've got our circuit up here, our, uh, our circuit maker, so to speak. And what do we want to do? We want to x not y not z. Now we're going to have three inputs. All right, let's put three inputs up here. So draw input device, and I'm going to have to label them first because if I don't do that, I'm dead. So text, I'm going to put x, y, and z here. All right, and let's quickly label those guys. Boom! Double click on it, and this is going to be a a. X. I'm fired. This guy is going to be Y. Okay. Double click on this guy. This guy is going to be Z. So there are my three uh, labels for my three inputs. What are the three inputs? Well, draw an input device called a switch. We'll put one here, here, and here. It'd be nice if I could make them a little bit neater. There we go. Right next to this one. And right next to this one. There's our inputs X, Y, and Z. I like that. Now, what are we going to do with X, Y, and Z? Well, we're going to be anding them together here. We're going to and them together. Start with this one, X, Y, Z. Huh. Okay, let, let's do this. This this looks interesting. So, how do we AND these guys together? Well, we have to have an AND gate. That makes a lot of sense. So, draw a control device called an AND gate. Let's put the AND gate right about there. That's good. Now, I'm going to have another AND gate over here. X, Y not, Z not. So, let's put another ga AND gate right there. Good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Huh. All right, all right. So, um, uh, oh, just in case you didn't see that. Whoops. Draw selector. Just in case you didn't see those, the last one there. That, that I had gone up to here. I clicked on draw input device and a switch, and I clicked more or less there. Then I said draw control device and an AND gate. And I put one there and there. And for the labels, it was draw and L put device text and there there's my text box so I don't need this one anymore let's get rid of them so here are my two end gates and I'm going to do something fabulous with these end gates I'm going to connect them up to X Y and Z but I'm going to connect them up in this manner I'm going to Let's see if I can do this. Tricky, very tricky. Hold on, I gotta move the camera just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, good. All right, now I want to make it so that X, Y, and Z are connected. These guys are connected to my top end gate in this manner. That means X and Y are going to have to be inverted to get this right. Okay, so 
let's do this one and well here I am so X Y Z Z goes straight in so there's no nodding with this guy there's a direct line right to Z all right. I, it looks to me like already I just realized I'm going to need a little bit more fighting room. So I'm going to move these forward like this. All right, so my Z is now connected to the end gate. But X and Y have to be knotted. Hmm. To give me the input that I want. And eventually the output that I want. So let's take a uh, let's draw an input device called a a control device called a inverter gate, and I'll put that here, and another one here. Super duper cool. And I'll draw a selector again, and then I got this. And I got oh, I forgot to do something. Oh, see how my end gate has two inputs. I'm going to change that now. I'm going to right click on this and change the properties to a three input end gate. When changing number of inputs. Ah! <laughs> okay, I am outsmart. I'm going to delete this guy. Okay, now I can change him. Properties, three inputs. There we go. Now I can connect them back up. But I have to draw another. Uh, switch. Yikes. Alright, that wasn't bad. That wasn't too bad. So selector, and I'm like this again. Alright, Z gets connected up directly. So go to wire, draw a wire, and goes right to this guy. Good? Y gets connected to the inverter. Y gets connected to the inverter. Ah! There we go. And the output of this inverter gets connected to the other input, like so. Same with X. X is connected to the inverter. X is connected to the inverter. There we go. And then the inverter output to the other input of the end gate. There we go. There is our first expression. Ta-da! What a job. Whew. Now, our next guy is X, Y naught, Z naught. X, Y naught, Z naught. Huh. X. Uh oh. Trouble. This hand gate is properties, is two inputs. We got to change it to three inputs and OK. Bada bing, where we, there we go. Now, what's with our with our uh, our uh, last expression over here? X is normal, Y and Z are knotted. All right, let's go get them. X goes right to here. So draw a wire right from X to this guy. He's normal. Ah. Ah. There we go. I got him. So, this guy is connected to X. Now, the next one, Y and Z are Well, Y is going to be knotted. Y is going to be knotted. Ha, ha, ha. And look what I have already, oh, already waiting for me here. I have the output from this Y knot. I can grab this. Uh, maybe connect it to here. Bingo done. <laughs> so that's X, Y not, and now Z. Oh, I got trouble with Z. I got trouble with Z. I got to get another inverter. Draw an inverter. That's an uh, that's a control device. An inverter. I got to get a gate right here. And what am I going to do with this? I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, draw 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 a wire from here to there. 
to the output of the inverter and from the input of the inverter to this guy here the input good and that is our expression so far in other words I've got this part and I've got this part but I don't have this part yet I have to or these two end gates together let's do that now how do I do that well I go down draw control devices or gate put it here and I'm now going to draw a wire from here to there and from this input to that input bingo that is my gate now draw an LED 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 where's the LEDs that's an output device LED I'm gonna put it right here right there and uh, draw a selector move that to here now I'm gonna draw wire connect these guys up draw selector move them closer and now simulate run now the moment of truth when this is true when this is true or this is true I'm going to get a one output so let's change this to zero zero one and see what happens zero zero one zero zero one BAM on it goes amazing on it goes let's go to the other let's shut these off now let's go to the other boolean expression if that was true which it is if this was true which it is it was we just tested it or this is true what is this this is one zero zero one zero zero yes yeah. these guys are the same one zero zero okay let's go do it one zero zero so all I have to do is turn this X on and this should go on BAM it goes on one zero zero the light goes on this and this are one and the same unbelievable we have done it we took a two truth table and we turned it into translated it into a boolean expression then we took the boolean expression and translated it into a circuit then we tested it and it worked zero zero one or one zero zero gives me an output of one zero zero one zero zero one let's do zero zero one again zero zero one positive output and the other one was one zero zero there we go all other combinations shut it off except for zero zero one yes zero zero one right here and zero zero one right here and one zero zero turns it on zero zero one one zero 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 one one zero zero one more time let's look at it zero zero one it turns it on and zero one zero zero turns it on and it works fine wow that's amazing simply amazing so that's it nothing more to say so long from Gary D 777 also known as Hoboken Gare Hoboken Gare so where's my hand there it is easier with this one bye bye now 
Five Five.